Our mission is to monitor the iceberg danger in the North Atlantic Ocean and to provide relevant iceberg warning products to the maritime community. It's a very exciting job. Instead of just being a desk job where you, you know, just have to sit at the desk every day on the computer, um, you have the opportunity to come out, um, do these patrols, you know, see the icebergs from the air, um, and ensure that we're putting out accurate warning products to the maritime community. When we fly really low, uh, the, the sea ice, you can see, you actually see the seals out there, um, you know, hanging out on the sea ice and kind of looking up at the plane, you know, recognizing that we're there. Typically, we'll see them closer to the coast in May, the May-June time frame. Um, so right now, it's still early April, so that pattern could shift and we could start seeing them close to shore, you know, in the coming months. Um, just right now is when we're seeing them off to the east. For crew fatigue, I put low, because we've been off for a couple days. Back uh, on April 15th, 1912, the Titanic sank, um, you know, taking with it over 1,500 victims. After that happened, the international community came together to try to prevent such an accident from occurring in the future. They put in a lot of safety regulations, including requirements for lifeboats, requirements for uh, manned radio stations. And one of those other things that came to be from the Titanic disaster was the creation of the International Ice Patrol. So we have those four reefs, and we dropped them out the back of the aircraft uh, to commemorate those lives lost in the Titanic. Um, this year, we had the opportunity to go to Halifax prior to coming here to St. John's, and we had a ceremony at the Fairview Lawn Cemetery where 121 victims of the Titanic are buried uh, to recognize um, those people's lo the loss of those lives and to commemorate um, the creation of the Ice Patrol and the sinking of the Titanic.